What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and the video review of the MJX Bugs 6, the 250 millimeter entry level racing drone for beginners. Now I have done a review on the MJX Bugs 6 before and that was a standard version. That one did not come with anything. Here it is right here and it is the same one but this one did not come with a camera nor it did not come with a 5.8 gigahertz monitor and the MJX goggles now this one flew very well and also I've done a review on an MJX Bugs 8 which I compared to the MJX Bugs 6 and it is basically identical as well here is the mjx bugs 8 right here and the only difference between these two is the canopy the whole motors everything the battery the chassis and the internals are identical exactly the same but when i did the bugs 8 review this one did come with everything the whole ensemble it did come with the camera as you can see here and it is an fpv camera all in one and it did come with the monitor and it did come with the goggles as well so today what i'm going to do is introduce the bug six that comes with everything this is the whole ensemble it comes with the camera it comes with the monitor and it also comes with the mjx goggles as well all right so this is the brushless motor model here it is the 1806 1800 kv motors and it has the four in one escs and it has a two-way communication with the transmitter and the quadcopter so before we go ahead and open up the box i want to show you something that is interesting i got a little curious because the six logo here seems to be a little sticker that's covering up something so I went ahead and started peeling it off and voila I guess this is supposed to have been called the bugs nine so that is interesting <laughs> so we got the bugs six that's supposed to have been the bugs nine which is identical to the bugs eight now the bugs eight is not available to buy but the bugs six is which is identically the same as the bugs eight so let's go ahead and open up the box and check this baby out all right guys so this is what you get in the box you get the package that contains the stickers the quick start guide and the instruction manual and but this time we have another addendum to the manual and it is the package label for the uh, all-in-one VTX camera and it is the C5830 5.8 gigahertz 720p fpv camera so that is really nice and here they show you the monitor as well and how to uh, install the camera into the quadcopter as well so that is pretty cool and let me just take out everything to show you what was in there here's a sticker here is the quick start guide it goes on to show you how to bind to put the battery in and start up the quadcopter and fly it and the instructions of the buttons on the transmitter all right and here is the instruction manual that goes on to tell you the same thing but more in detail and here is another uh, paper and this one tells you the d43 the 5.8 gigahertz receiver monitor and the channels that it supports all right so it's got eight channels and four frequencies a total of 32 channels and it is a fantastic lcd display and it works very well in bright daylight as well so let's put that on the side and let's go ahead and open up this box here containing all of the hardware so it is a nice foam box here and if you look underneath there is the transmitter okay so we're just going to leave the transmitter there we'll come back to the transmitter and let's go ahead and open up the box it is a nicely packaged detailed package product and there it is the mjx bug six let me go ahead and put that 
right here for now and what else you get in the box here is all kinds of stuff you got the charge cable with the balance charger you also get a bunch of plastic that was cradling in and here is the all-in-one camera VTX with the 5.8 gigahertz transmitter so let's put that on the side this one does not come installed you have to install it yourself and this is the ball and socket joint to attach to your transmitter as well as the USB to micro USB charge cable and we get the 5.8 gigahertz receiver monitor here and this is a fantastic monitor, guys. If you're going to buy one of these guys here, the MJX Bug 6, I highly recommend that you get the whole package. Maybe not the goggles if you don't need goggles, but get this little monitor. It is a fantastic little monitor. And of course, the goggles help out as well. So it is a fantastic ensemble, guys. And what else we got here on this side? Uh, this is the sunshade for the monitor, which you clip onto the monitor to prevent the sun from hitting the, the screen so it doesn't give out that glare. So that is fantastic. They thought of all that stuff. And we get another little package with a bushings, a little clip, and a screwdriver. And let's check out another little bag here. And we are given some extra prop as well. All right, so that is about it on this side here. So let me go ahead and flip it over and take a look on the opposite side here. And there is the transmitter here. And there you go, it is exactly the same. Uh, it is in a nice little package here. So I'm not going to take this transmitter out. I'm just going to utilize the other transmitter that I already have batteries in from the MJX Bugs 6. So we'll use that transmitter. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the quadcopter itself here. Now it is a very nice quadcopter guys. I highly recommend if you are beginning to do FPV, uh, get this ensemble because it comes with everything you need for FPV. And it is a fantastic quadcopter with brushless motors. Like I said earlier on the box, it is the 1600 KV 1806 brushless motors. And the top speed on it is around 80 kilometers per hour. And if you take a look at it, like I said, it does not come with a camera install so it just takes a few screws and you can install the camera and taking a look at it here identically the same the battery bay is right underneath of it and it is the 7.4 volt 1300 milliamp size battery and it is not really a proprietary battery it is a battery inside of this proprietary case so if you have another battery that is a similar size and you have the xt30 plug eh, you can put it in here or you can even modify it to become the jst or you can modify this to become the xt60 and you can probably use some batteries that you already have on your collection of batteries now the canopy itself is very easy to take off. So all you do is just kind of press down on it, on those little clips, those little circular clips. Instead of pinching it, I just pushed it and it kind of forces it in and you can pop it out. So that's really easy to pop out, guys. So here's the internals of the MJX Bug 6. Now, this one does not come with the camera. So the camera is going to go right here, which I will install in a minute. And taking a look at the, oops, the foam just ripped in half there. Taking a look inside here, here is the all-in-one uh, ESCs. And as you can see, the wires are coming off of it and going directly to the arms there and going to the motors. And underneath is the power distribution board on the bottom there. And there's the little port right here, so you can attach your all-in-one camera right here for powering it up. So let's go ahead and put that foam back where it was, kind of. 
so it doesn't look like I tore it. There you go. That looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, there's LED lights in the front. Uh, there's LED lights in the back. And there is the battery uh, connecting port right there. So just remember to put it the right way. Okay. So don't be pushing it in like and putting it the wrong way. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the camera and go ahead and install the camera into the quadcopter all right guys i got the camera out of its bag here and that is how it looks like here's the power cable and the signal cable so you can control it from your transmitter and here are the three dip switches now this thing has eight channels to configure as well so that is fantastic so you don't really it is not a single uh, channel frequency that they are providing they are providing a wide variety of channels to choose from to your liking and if you do not get the monitor at least get the one with the camera so you can use your goggles to do the FPV here's the camera angle lens right here and it is tilt adjustable to 45 degrees up and 45 degrees down so that is fantastic and putting it straight is okay for taking photos and videos but if you want to do some FPV uh, flying then put it one click up so when you pitch forward it is still looking forward all right so let's go ahead and put this baby on we're going to slide it in right here and it just sits directly in the cradle there's some wires going on to the LED light so make sure you don't pinch any of the wires just place the wires right underneath of the camera here and place the lens right in there and it just kind of slides right in so there's one screw hole right here second one here and a third one here and of course they provide you with four screws just in case you lose one so let me go ahead and put this on right now magnetic screwdriver all right i got the camera installed and they provide you with a magnetic screwdriver so that is fantastic i have one screw left over so i'm going to put it back in the bag and put it in safekeeping as well as the screwdriver now the next thing you want to do here is place the antenna and there is a clip on the side on the right side for the antenna on the left side of the quadcopter there is the receiver for the control of the quadcopter to bind with the transmitter there's the antenna there but now here is the transmitter antenna for the 5.8 gigahertz all-in-one vtx so what you want to do is route it around this little clip here and just push it right in and that is all you got to do make sure it goes around that little round thing there so it doesn't get pinched and the next thing you want to do is power this baby up so you're going to go ahead and connect it to this little port here which is just about the right length so you might want to put this connection before you put the all-in-one vtx on so i'm going to unravel it just a little bit so it gives me a little bit of length here and be careful to put it the correct way i almost put it the wrong way just right now okay so that is on there and we are good to go so what you need to do here is just place the canopy right on top make sure that wire is not getting pinched as we do so and just go ahead and push it down all four corners of the canopy and there you go guys we are done the all-in-one vtx camera module is in and it's got the tilt adjustable angle here so that will be straight we're going to leave it straight for now so that is looking fantastic and one more little thing about the all-in-one vtx is that it accommodates a micro sd card and here i have a little micro sd card and i'm going to insert it on this opening right here and that is fantastic because you are taking 
videos and photos directly onto the micro SD card but this slot is a little small for your fingers so you might need a little device to push the micro SD card in so maybe I got the micro SD card upside down here let's see if this is the correct way and if it doesn't go in guys don't shove it in and force it in nope that is not the right way I had the right way the first time around and it is upside down oops and that is the reason why we use a forcep here or a hemostat okay so it is going to go upside down and we are going to put it in and it is spring loaded so just push it in and it stays in place and now we are able to take videos and photos directly onto the micro SD card before it is transmitted to your 5.8 gigahertz monitor or your goggles if your goggles are able to record videos as well all right so the all-in-one VTX is a 5.8 gigahertz 500 milliwatt FPV transmitter with 300 to 500 meters image transmission. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the 4.3 inch 5.8 gigahertz receiver monitor, the D43. Now it is a fantastic little receiver. For this purpose, I'm going to go ahead and power up the quadcopter here and turn on the monitor. Now this monitor has 32 channels and you change the channel by just down pressing this button here guys and it shows you the channel receiving channel here and the receiving band right up on the top it also has the rssi value the signal strength as well and it's got the battery indicator now there's the charging status uh, indicator the LED indicator now there's some buttons on this side here uh, this one turns on the grids as you can see on the side there's some grids that appeared it's kind of hard to see but we are in the sunlight and you are able to see this LCD monitor screen it is a fantastic screen guys so if you don't want that you can turn that off now the next one is the contrast button so you are able to go ahead and go all the way up and it'll go back down and you can continue to go up and you can change the contrast on it and looks like right around here is pretty good the next one is the brightness button so you can change the brightness on this baby as well as you can see I'm changing the brightness and that's the maximum and that is the lowest put it right around here and that looks fantastic and like I said here is the channel changing button and the power button is right off to the side here and the micro USB charging port is right here rechargeable battery guys so a fantastic little uh, LCD monitor the 5.8 gigahertz the D43 so this is a dual use 4.3 LCD monitor now what you do is you get the remote control and I've already put that uh, ball and socket joint connector right on the top here and it's very easy to do all you do is slide it in there's a little notch you can pull from the back to release it and it comes right off and there's a little notch right there and it corresponds to the notch right in the back of the antenna there and once you push it in it just clicks and locks into place guys so it is the ball and socket joint so if you want to do the monitor style uh, FPV then just place it in here just give it a push and you got yourself a little LCD monitor on your transmitter. Now, if you are going to do some goggles FPV and MJX has included this goggles for this package that comes with everything, the whole ensemble. Now, this is a VR style goggles and it's very light, very light. The straps are really nice. Um, the sponge on your face is really nice so there is the Fresno lens right on the inside here so what you do here is open this baby up and there's a compartment where you put the LCD monitor 
and you just slide it right in and close the lid and now you have LCD monitor in your goggles and that's why they call this thing the dual use 4.3 inch LCD monitor. Now let's take a look at the two-way 2.4 gigahertz transmitter. It features the weak signal alert and the low voltage alert. An alarm will sound on the transmitter when those two alerts are activated. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the functions here. Uh, this red button here is to arm and disarm the motors of the quadcopter. A short press of it will arm it and a long press of it with the throttle stick all the way down will disarm the motors on the quadcopter. This is the speed changing button. There's the low speed and there's the high speed. And on this side here, this button here will do the flips for you. Press this button and do the direction of the flips that you want with the pitch stick. Now this button here, a short press of it will take a photo and a long press of it will take a video and it records directly into the micro SD card on the all-in-one VTX. These are trim buttons here and this button here does some kind of a TX uh, calibration. Uh, turn on the remote control while holding this button down for three seconds and it will go into a calibration mode and at which time you can do some calibration and go ahead and hit that button again for about three seconds. It'll send out some beeps and your transmitter is calibrated. Uh, this transmitter already comes calibrated from the factory so I don't think you will need to do a transmitter calibration but just in case your transmitter starts to act up that is the way to calibrate your transmitter. Now, to calibrate the gyros of the quadcopter, you do it with both sticks to the bottom and to the right. All right, so that is all of the functions of the transmitter. So now let's go ahead and do a little demo flight with the MJX Bugs 6. All right, guys, we are just about ready to go with the MJX Bugs 6 for the, for the very first time here. I got the LCD monitor clicked on to it and I got the sunshade attached to it as well. So the very first time what you want to do is do a binding process and the binding process is very simple guys. So what you want to do is hold the red button down and turn on the transmitter. It will send the transmitter into a binding mode. There you go and the green light is flashing very fast. And that is the binding mode. And what you want to do is power up the quadcopter right here. And once you power it on, the transmitter's green light goes solid. Now you are bound, okay? That, you only need to do it once. Now, the next time around, what you do is, to simulate the next time around, what you do is just turn on the transmitter. You don't have to hold down the red button and just plug in the power for the quadcopter and it automatically binds no throttle up and down stuff like that all right so now what you want to do here is on a flat level surface and you should do this every single time you take off before you take off oh check that out the lcd uh, led lights in the front nice and bright now what you want to do is bolt sticks to the bottom and to the right and at which time you see the red light flash in the back of the quadcopter. Let me do that one more time. That is calibrating the gyros of the quadcopter. So your quadcopter will hover at a perfect level hover. All right. So let's go ahead and arm the quadcopter by hitting that red button just once. And leave your throttle stick all the way to the bottom here. There you go. You are ready to go. If you don't take off at a certain amount of time, the motors will shut off. There you go. It takes a little while for the motors to shut off, but it does shut off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my LCD monitor and I have nice video and it is very clear. In this hot sunny day, even in the glare, I'm able to see this monitor and I can see it. And that is incredible because most of the monitors, you are not able to see it. Even in the sunlight, I can see it. 
check that out in the shade and you can see this thing very well so let me show you what I'm talking about very nice very very nice so let's go ahead and take a photo here by hitting this button just once and a red light has flashed on the left corner of the screen here letting you know that you have just taken a photo so let's lift it up and point it towards the mountains here point it towards the mountains take a photo and point it towards the buildings take a photo point it towards the right side and take a photo point it towards the car and take a photo all right we have taken some photos now what i'm going to do is i'm going to long press it and it should start the video counter all right so long pressing it and there you go it beeped and the counter on the bottom left corner has turned red and it is doing a counter right now it is starting to count down it beeped and the counter on the bottom left corner has turned red and it is doing a counter right now it is starting to count down all right so let's go ahead and arm the motors again and let's go ahead and take off arming it and what you do now is just throttle up and it should take off oh yeah the brushless motor sound look at that hover guys nice that is the breeze taking it away very very nice very minimum amount of breeze today beautiful day here in the high desert nice look at the LED lights in the front very bright I am able to see it very clearly and the red LED lights in the back as well very very bright guys so let's go ahead and take off that way yep that those LED lights are really really bright and yep the front LED lights are really bright. I am able to make out its orientation even in this hot sunny day. Yep, very, very nice. Let me turn around. Yep, I'm able to see the red lights. I'm able to see the clear lights. Fantastic. Not bad. Speed number one, guys. Looks like a very smooth flyer, doesn't it? very nice sound from the props really really nice Let's do a little punch out, full punch out, there you go, that is the full punch out. A little prop wash on the way down in a spiral. Alright, very very nice guys. A rear flip. A left flip and it does fantastic flips too doesn't it there you go low altitude flip you gotta hold the button down and do the direction of the flips here nice huh Very strong and powerful flips with these brushless motors. All right, let's go to speed number two. Hitting this button, double beep means speed number two. Well, nice. It's got a bit more pitch and it's got a lot more speed. Check that out. 
Very nice. Woo hoo 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 hoo. Pretty nice. And it just climbs too. Really, really nice, man. Fantastic, guys. That is the funnels. Even out the funnels. I'm supposed to give you about uh, 12 to 15 minutes of flight time or something like that. So pretty long flight time on this one too. That is the full punch out going straight forward. Very nice, very nice entry level quadcopter guys. And with the brushless motors, you know, you know, you are getting a longevity type of quadcopter as well. Motors will last you for a while. Nice. Very nice. Now let's see if I can do some FPV flying. I'm going to go speed number one. All right. Let's take a look on the monitor here. Maybe I am in the wrong channel because it is going in and out. So let me go ahead and land this baby here and see if I can re-channel and configure it. There you go. Hold the throttle stick all the way down and hit this red button and hold it. There you go. The motor's shut off. All right, so let's see if I can get another channel here. Hitting the channel button. It is not quite the channel that it should be on, I believe. It is a bleed over channel. Okay, here we are. It is 5705 and it is on channel C1. All right, I don't think that was the same channel as the previous channel. So let's go ahead and rearm the motors and take off. There we go. All right, take a look at the monitor here. Oh yeah, now we got clear reception. Let's head over to the 100 meter bush over there. Oh yeah, fantastic. I'm able to clearly see where I'm going there. Going right over the 100 meter bush and turning around. Nice. There I am, coming straight forward the car. Fantastic monitor. All right, turning around. Nice, nice. Very nice monitor. All right, going towards the right side. And there is another bush way down there. Let's go and check out that bush. Now this does not have altitude hold, so throttle management, there was a little beep there and the screen did go a little black for a split second, so I turned around and I'm bringing it back. There's some disturbance over here. There's some uh, high to uh, power lines around nearby. So maybe that has something to do with it here. I'm circling around the car and let's take another little trip to the 100 meter bush. Long flight time. Nice. Going towards the 100 meter bush and there it is on the left hand corner turning around and coming back. 
absolutely fantastic monitor style FPV now let's go ahead and bring this baby in and try out the goggles that we are provided with we're going to stick this monitor into that virtual reality goggles that uh, it this ensemble comes with so let's go ahead and do some of that it should be right here nice very nice very nice let's go ahead and land it now and hold down the red button there you go the motors shut off nice okay let's hit that record button now we have saved that flight footage onto the micro SD card nice turning off the monitor and unplugging the quadcopter and then look at that the alarm turning off the transmitter nice all right guys we are ready to go with some goggles fpv i got the monitor and i taken the sunshade screen off of the monitor now opening up the mjx goggles we're going to turn on the monitor before we put it in there and just slide it right in and close it up now what we're going to do is turn on the transmitter and we are going to hook up the MJX Bug 6 we have found it and we should have FPV yep we got FPV guys all right so let's do some goggles FPV with the MJX Bugs 6 all right the video counter is on and we are going to check it out on speed number one first. So let's take off. Nice, nice and stable. Very smooth. I don't see any jello. So that is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Going towards the 100 meter bush one more time. And I got total control. Oh, wow. Going beyond the 100 meter bush there. Turning around. Oh, yeah. I'm able to see everything very, very clear on this monitor, guys. Oops. We just had a little blackout. I don't know what that was all about. But it seems to me that this field has some kind of power going through some areas and there's some kind of a signal blockage so once in a while I do get that on my uh, goggles as well when I use my other goggles to do FPV right around there I do get a little flicker so this monitor is no different it is fantastic guys I am able to see very clear of where I'm going and this is a fantastic monitor goggle ensemble and there I am completely first person view very accurate very very accurate there's no delay because this is a 5.8 gigahertz FPV and not the Wi-Fi kind of FPV so that is fantastic there was one little thing uh, about the MJX bugs 2 with the Wi-Fi FPV, the 5G Wi-Fi FPV. I wonder why they chose to do it with the Wi-Fi FPV. If they put in one of these guys in there, that would have been more nice. You are going to be able to do some nice FPV with that one. Now, I'm going to go to speed number two and try some speed here. We're going to go into that bush on the opposite side, on the right side of the field there. Oh, the screen just went a little bit darker and the uh, transmitter is beeping. I saw some black screen. I got kind of lost there for a minute, but I'm back, coming back towards me. So you don't want to go too far with this one, even though they say it's 300 to 500 meter distance. Um, the antenna on the receiver monitor 
is within the receiver monitor. So when you're flying this thing, you want to keep it uh, in front of you. So right now I am right now here. Let me go right directly in front of where I am. I am facing the quadcopter at this time right now because I'm sitting facing this way and the quadcopter is coming towards me. So this is an ideal situation because the antenna on the monitor is uh, perpendicular to the quadcopter here. Or you might even call it parallel. Depends which way you look at it, I guess. But keep it in front of you or keep it behind you, okay? Because the antenna is going sideways on the monitor. So when I go right here and turn to the right, actually it's a dead spot for the monitor. So it's not the ideal spot that you want to be. So if you're going to the right side here, you want to turn your head to the right. So you are facing the quadcopter like I am right now. I'm turning it, turning my head. And since it's going to the left of me, I'm turning my head to the left. So I get clear video reception without any breakups. So that is one of the tricks that you need to do when you're doing uh, FPV with this monitor because it does not have one of those um, mushroom type antennas where it is a circular radius uh, reception. This is more like a, um, like a dual round uh, figure eight type of reception. So in the middle, there is less reception on this monitor. But man, this Bug 6 is fantastic. It's just like the Bugs 8, man. It's got fantastic ability, FPV ability. And it is really, really nice and easy to fly. And I do really appreciate the uh, fact that it does not have altitude hold on this one, guys. Even though if you are a beginner, you might want altitude hold. So you don't have to worry about uh, any height issues. But if you want to become a, a good FPV pilot, you need to learn how to uh, have throttle control of your height as well. So I heard a couple of beeps on the way back here. So maybe what it is is the battery might be on the way down or the signal was low. It doesn't uh, quite, I don't quite know what is which. I'm not sure if the, uh, the alarm is two different types of alarm or a faster beep or a slower beep. So let me go ahead and check out that 100 meter bush one more time and we'll bring it in for a landing. So turning around, there's a little bit of static break up there. Okay, let's bring it back. I'm going to go to speed number one so I can slowly bring it in. And my screen has turned red because of the sunlight. Okay, bring it in very slow and looks like a good spot to land right here. Nice. Holding down the red button, a couple seconds and the motor has shut off. Alright guys, just got done flying the MJX Bug 6, the 250 millimeter FPV quadcopter for beginners and you know what? It was fantastic. I had the camera shooting straight forward and not angled up and it gave me a pretty good decent field of view and I was able to FPV with the monitor on the remote control as well as the monitor inside of the MJX goggles and it was a fantastic experience. So if you are in the market for something that you can fly and have fun with and it comes with the whole thing in one package this is a very very good buy guys it's got the brushless motors and it's got the distance it's got the two-way communication in case you run out of battery or you are out of range so that is fantastic it has got the micro sd card slot where you can take photos and videos in 720p so that is just a fantastic little ensemble guys mjx has done a fantastic job so there you have it guys my review of the mjx bugs 6 thank you very much for watching and we will see you again next time